Welcome back to our second part of our DASH series on mental health. Today we're going to be talking about depression. And depression is a very complex mental health issue. And I really don't want to minimize it to the point where it seems like we completely understand what depression is because we don't. Although it's very clear that many factors can play a role in our depression, such as biochemistry and our genetics and our personality types and different environmental factors, I think it's good to focus on biochemistry for right now, which is how the chemicals that are going off in your brain help to create a depressive mood or symptoms. Research shows that prolonged elevated levels of cortisol, that stress hormone released from your hippocampus will flood the brain and physically cause the hippocampus to shrink because cortisol slows down the growth or stops the growth altogether of new, neutron, of new neutrons. Cortisol also affects the amygdala and it causes the swell. The amygdala is like the brain smoke detector. We talked about that last week. It's an emotional memory center. It sounds the alarm to the rest of our body that we're in danger. And the sympathetic nervous system prepares for us for fight or flight. When the amygdala is in this state, it affects our sleep, our anxiety level, and changes our hormones in the body that can affect our ability to feel regulated. This is not an exhaustive list about what depression does to your biochemistry, but it's a good understanding that depression is not just sadness or grief, and it can come and go in waves. Depression is a physical change in the brain that we just can't wish away or muster up enough willpower to feel better. The diagnosis in the mental health field would be called major depressive disorder, which would be a constant symptom of depression over two weeks. Often major depressive disorders need a balance in the psychotherapy and sometimes medication helps to address the issues that need to be resolved. People can create new habits. They can change certain environments. They can address past issues and wounds and learn better how to take care of themselves and their brain in the future. That's essential to getting past depression. 